right, we are here with Chris Schmidt from Grayscale Gorilla. You are the last Grayscale Gorilla person to uh, uh, have any sort of, uh, uh, for us to put up on, on, online. So I appreciate you being here. Oh, thank you. The most elusive gorilla. Yeah, the most elusive. The hardest gorilla to catch. <laughs> so you guys are actually manning your own booth this year, yeah. like uh, uh, connected with Cinema 4D. Yeah, a little breakout pod hanging out. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So you're just demoing stuff, like uh, uh, all the plugins and stuff like that, right? That That's the idea, but the whole time it's just been like shaking hands with people, coming up and being like, oh my god. Like, yeah, I know. Like, So I was doing my my demo time, you know, and I'm just sitting here, you know, twiddling my fingers and then looking around the corner and you guys are like jam-packed with people, so that must feel pretty nice. It, it's, it's always nice meeting everybody. You just throw all the videos online and yeah, you know, I guess you can see like a view count, but then people come up and shake your hand. They're like, "I did the intro series. It got me into Cinema 4D, and I'm doing 3D now." It's like, "Oh my god! Like that's crazy!" Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. You don't think about it, but you know, you're changing lives. You put videos out, and it's like, "Oh, I got a job because I watched yeah. a bunch of these videos." And I actually I tweeted. Hard. I tweeted to you guys when I first got my 3D job too. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> Um, so you're demo demoing, uh, I think it's Signal right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Is this the new Signal? This is super, actually, this is like exclusive. You, if you guys knew this, this is, nobody's seen video of any of this yet. Uh -huh. But we, uh, we're teasing out uh, the new BPM features we've added. We got beats per minute built awesome. into Signal. I've been spending all day trying to build like a cool demo scene, but I haven't had time to sit and play <laughs> with it. So, uh, but yeah, definitely uh, doing some of that. So. Very, very cool. Okay, so uh, what's, what's the future from GSG? What do you what do you, what are you guys what are you guys hoping for? Like, what's 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 the ultimate goal? What is your ultimate goal, either with Cinema 4D or GSG or what? What do you want to do? Uh, I, I don't have a great answer for that. Like, I, I like what we're doing, uh -huh. and I want to keep doing more of that. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of ideas. We got a lot of stuff ready right now. We got a lot of stuff in the works. There's plugins I really want to work on. Yeah. Uh, that I haven't gotten to yet because yeah. we've got other things to update and work on first. But yeah, I just my favorite thing is making tools. Like, I love the creation of tools and seeing people get to use them. I like building potential. Yeah. And every time you make a tool, you've built potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. that's my favorite thing to do. So I just want to keep being able to do that in bigger and better and cooler ways. Like every time I make something, it's like, wow, that couldn't have happened before. That's yeah. when I'm happiest. Yeah, that's so. cool. Where, where, where do you, so where do you get the ideas for plugins and stuff? It's more like, how do we stop all the, <laughs> all the ideas? Yeah. Because like, we could. Well, how do you determine which one's first? Uh, a lot of arguing back and forth, figuring things out, <laughs> okay. because like there's certain ones that, like maybe Nick is super excited about that he, or maybe they're a little bit out of date and we want to focus on those. But then there's cool new ideas we want to work on instead, and we got to kind of find the balance there. Uh, and then at the same time, come up with like all these crazy ideas in between. It's like, oh, I got this tiny idea for like this little thing. Can we squeeze that in? It's like, no, but we keep already pushing this back. We got deadlines. We got to do it. So. Hey, it's uh, a big struggle there. What's your favorite GSG plugin? Like, what is your go-to? Like, uh, I know, see, we do a plugin, and I almost always reach for the same one over and over and over again. And actually, it's it's our BroGraph Quick Sky, which integrates perfectly with HDRI Link. Oh, yeah? So now I have started using HDRI Link <laughs> along with our Quick Sky, oh, so awesome. that I can actually do the easy stuff. But do you have one of yours that? you're just like so super proud of and you're like this is one i use every day uh, those are like three different questions i'm and sorry they, and, they don't, and they don't and they do have like three different answers where it's like the one my favorite plugin is probably transform and it's the one i really really want to get back to working on again um just because it was like the first one where you went really went deep i learned a lot of coding on that one uh, it's kind of like my baby yeah uh but then we have signal and signals the one that it's, I think it's like our most like real plugin. It's like core basic functionality in Cinema 40 and it completely changes the workflow and how you think about it. But then the one I'm constantly reaching for all the time is HDRI Studio because I am not a lighting guy yeah. and I don't make things look pretty. Yeah. And now with a couple of clicks, it's like, it's like I do this crazy technical thing. It's like, oh, this is cool. But it's just a big, it's a it's big and gray. Right. And it's like, and throw in an HDRI Studio, take the render settings, pick the HDR, put in a reflection, and gorgeous, like four clicks. Yeah. I don't even have to think about like the making it look yeah. pretty part, shiny yeah. and reflective yeah. and yeah. well lit. Yeah. So that's the practical one. It's almost like I use it so often that I don't even think about it that way anymore because it's just like, well, of course I don't have to worry about lighting because yeah. I just click, I click my favorite yeah. buttons on yeah. that, and now I've got the one I need. So. Okay. Cool. So uh, I don't know. Uh, anything you're excited to see or any presenters you're excited to see here at NAB? It's, 
that first of all, I'm kind of stuck at this. Podcast. Yeah, of course. I, I was gonna say like you guys are like here. I mean, you got a booth. You're here what, yeah. the whole time day, for yeah, like all, all four yeah. days or whatever. Yeah, unless we're presenting, then we're yeah. here. So I even more than usual, I'm not gonna be able to watch the presentations here on the floor. So I'll get to watch them with most other people when yeah. they're on Cineversity. So I'm excited to catch cool. up on those. That's always fun, like having that backlog. So that's when I'll see them. Uh, but everybody's got such great stuff. Like, how do you even talk about it? And I definitely want to go talk to Co about his video game thing he's working. Yeah, on. totally. Me too. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of Unity, so yeah. like, I'm excited with Have that. Have you gotten into Unity or Un Unreal or anything like that? Yeah, yeah I, I've tink. I, I'm like a professional tinkerer in Unity. Where, same, same. Like, for like a month or two out of the year, I'm like, I really want to like just work in Unity and play. I'll never publish anything from it, but just really fun to like learn. It's a great way to learn code, honestly, because you get such instant feedback when you're programming for a video game. So I've made a bunch of little fun little proof of concepts. I even had like this tiny little multiplayer thing that we play in the in the office, but nice. uh, <laughs> it's just it's just fun to do, and it works really well with cinema. So cool, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. you taking the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pleasure. Yeah. Thank right. you.